I was living in my addiction terribly. Heroin, meth, fentanyl, anything I can really get my hands on. I remember at one point praying to go to prison because rehabs weren't working. The moment that I went into jail, I was thankful for it. I remember uh, withdrawing so incredibly bad that I was aggra like grabbing my mattress because I was sweating and shaking, but being thankful. So, thank God I'm safe. And I knew I didn't want to die yet. I was so dependent on alcohol. That's what my life revolved around. And all I could think about when I woke up was alcohol. I'm an overdose victim. I have multiple overdoses and that still did not stop me from using my drug of choice. I'm an alcoholic in recovery. I was on the verge of losing my job. I was on the verge of losing my family. I felt like I wasn't wanted anywhere or by, or by anyone. That day that I said, I'm tired and I can't do it anymore, God showed up the next day with police. I felt so alone when those doors, the handcuffs on me, the doors closed, I had got a chance to call home and my daughters kept saying, mommy, mommy. And just that in their voices, it really snapped at me and made me think about what I was doing. Like I've never thought about anything I was doing. I never even thought it was wrong to smoke crack while your kids are in the back seat. There was times where I wanted to end my life in jail because that's not a place that I want to be. I had a sheet and I had it wrapped around my neck because I was so sad and I was just crying out. And I just said, God, please help me. And something came over me. I felt something different in me. I felt love and I felt like there is somebody that loves me even though I can't see him, but I can feel him. I got into the biggest fight with my wife. We both said things that I didn't think either one of us would ever have said to each other. I was in the basement drinking. All of a sudden, I just started crying, like remorsefully crying. And it felt like God slapped me right in the back of the head and said, you need help. No if, ands, or buts. All I could think about was help. I just remember him leaving, not telling me where he was going, just saying that he was going to be back. I drove myself to treatment. I had to surrender. I couldn't do it anymore. And then it was a couple hours later that I got the phone call. It was him calling saying that he checked himself into rehab. I was so happy. He was finally getting the help that I had been asking for months and he finally did it. A prayer was finally answered. That was it. I mean, it really was life or death. Everything that I had in me, I'd give up on, and I needed something new. And I ended up in a in the recovery church here in Sunbury, Pennsylvania, and that's when things really started to move in my life in a different direction. I feel the Holy Spirit working in my life now. I feel God's presence. I don't live in fear, anxiety, self-centeredness, selfishness anymore. The obsession to want to get high is gone. He is healing me emotionally, physically, spiritually, mentally. My soul, I feel the Holy Spirit met everywhere in my life today. I never thought this could be me. Two days after I got out of jail, it was Friday church. And when I came here, I felt like this was my, this was my home. The love that I feel here in the presence of the Holy Spirit, I can't even explain it. And when I got baptized, I felt like the old dirty spirit just lifted up from me. I want other people to have the peace and the serenity and just the love that I have in my heart because I know that desperation that they felt and I can only pray that they would be able to feel the same things that I'm feeling inside now since I've accepted Jesus Christ into my heart. I gave my heart my life to Christ. I decided to give my life over to Christ. From seeing what he already done for my family, he gave my husband back to me, gave my kids a father back, and then ever since then he has just blessed us. He blessed us by getting our children. They were both baptized and gave their lives to Christ. I honestly feel like he's made me the richest man in the world with what he's done for me and my family. The peace and joy that is in my life now is absolutely and utterly amazing. I, when I gave my heart to the Lord, when I went into that water and came up a new creation in Christ, I just felt like the old me was gone and the new me was 
willing to put the work in to be the best person I could possibly be. Through God, my whole life has, has changed. I no longer uh, suffer from anxiety or stress because I don't have it, because I know uh, God is with me. When I told my family that I wanted to be baptized, my youngest daughter said, Dad, I want to be baptized with you. What a feeling that was. There was a child that was embarrassed to be with me, to go out in public with me, to say, Dad, I want to be baptized with you. From that moment forward, I've had this undeniable hunger and thirst to have this close relationship with Christ, to know God and Jesus and the Holy Spirit, uh, to an, an aspect that I didn't, that I didn't know that I, anybody, let alone myself, could ever, ever want or, or feel. I am beyond grateful for this church. I am beyond grateful for Pastor Billy Shawnee, the connection I have with everybody in this place. I've never felt more accepted in my life than I do here.